Hello everyone. In the third lecture of thermodynamics, the subtopic that is going to be discussed is the cross derivative rule for a state function. And in this context, let us take a variable z, which is a state function, so that it is a function of x and y. x and y are two another, yet another variables. So the expression of dz can be easily written from the previous rules as del z by del x at constant y into dx plus del z by del y at constant x into dy. Okay, this is the rate of change in the value of z with respect to x at constant y and this is the rate of change in the value of z with respect to y at constant x. Now these two parameters are taken to be some variables uh, assumed to be uh, equal to some variables m and n capital M and capital N. So if we assume like this we can get equation 1 and 2 like this one and this one and putting m in this place and n in this place we can get easily equation number 3 like this. So we get we are getting here dz equal to m dx plus n dy. Okay. Now for this condition the cross derivative rule would be obtained. Let us proceed by differentiating both sides of equation 1 and differentiating both sides of equation 2. Now how we shall proceed here? Here z is differentiated, differentiated with respect to x at constant y. Okay. So second time we shall differentiate this parameter with respect to y keeping x constant. So the right hand side will also be differentiated accordingly. This would result in del m by del y x. Okay. And similarly for the second equation, equation number 2, uh, this left hand side would be differentiated with respect to x keeping y constant. So that would be reflected also in the right hand side like del n by del x at constant y. Okay. Let's see how it's going on. So differentiating both sides of equation 1 with respect to y at constant x, we have del z by del y del x equals to del m by del y x. This is resulting in equation number 4. Similarly, equation number 5 is also obtained like del z by del x del y equals to del n by del x into uh, at constant y. Okay. Now, see that this dz dz is a perfect differential because it's z is a state function now z is operated by taking two different paths like differentiating with respect to x followed by differentiation with respect to y and here in equation 5 first it is differentiated with respect to y followed by differentiation with respect to x so these two paths are different but since z is a state function so it is path independent that means dz must be a state function so the left hand sides of equation 4 and 5 must be equal so this is written here because dz is a perfect differential because z is a state function that would definitely uh, mean that the right hand sides are also equal of equation 4 and 5 so these are the right hand sides of equation 1 equation 4 and 5 okay so the right hand side of equation 4 is del m by del y x and the right hand side of equation 5 is del n by del x y and this is the cross derivative rule okay so if z is a state function that means if dz is a perfect differential or an exact differential so that dz is m dx plus n dy then the cross derivative rule states that del m by del y at constant x equal to del n by del x at constant y Okay, so this is all about the cross derivative tool. Now let us uh, uh, elaborate this with some more examples like uh, verification of the term PDB plus VDP. Okay, PV both are variables and PDB minus VDP are perfect differentials. Okay, so let us assume first dx equal to PDB plus VDP as, uh, as equation 1 and dy equals to PDB minus VDP as equation, equation number 2. Okay. If dx is a perfect differential, then this is actually like m dx plus n dy. Then m instead of m, there is p. Okay. And instead of x, there is v. That means we have to differentiate this m with respect to p. Isn't it? At constant v. Because this is m dx by, and that means del m by del uh, y at constant x. So what is x? x is v here. And what is y? y is p here. Okay. So, p means this p. This p is y because dp is dy here. So, 
MD uh, that means this MDX part and this NDY part may also be uh, written as PDV plus BDP which is uh, uh, taken to be as del P by del P at constant V and the del N by del X Y part is del V by del V at constant P. Okay, let us see. Let us verify whether the cross derivative rule is satisfied in both the equations 1 and 2. For equation 1, this this is del M and this is del Y. Okay, here M is P, here Y is also P. Okay, and definitely del P by del P, but these two are same thing. M is nothing but Y. So, differentiation of two same things results in unity. That means 1. Okay, so this is 1. Similarly, for the second term, which is del n by uh, del x at constant y, here n and x are same. n is v and x is also v. And the constant y is p here. Okay. Definitely, here y was p. So, here is also y p. And this is also, since both n and x are same, this is also 1. So, del v by del v p equals to 1. So, the cross derivative rule is satisfied here. So, pdv plus vdp is a perfect differential. Okay, but for the second equation, this n, m is okay, m by uh, uh, y at constant x is okay, it is 1, but n by x at constant y, this n and x are not same. Okay, actually they are having the same, uh, 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 same, what I say, same variable, but their signs are opposite. So, the result of differentiation is minus 1. So, these two are not equal. So, the cross derivative rule is not satisfied here. As a result, PDB minus BDP is not a perfect differential. Okay. So, that's all about the cross derivative rule. And thank you. Have a nice day.